So let's focus on trying to solve this next one here. So this is another base 10 expression. In this one, it's already solved for the exponential expression. So let's just rewrite it. We have 10 to the 2z over 3 is equal to 15. And since we don't have to do any work to solve it for this exponential expression, we can just rewrite this as a logarithm. And the way that I remember these, I've already hinted at it, is that I remember the logarithm has the same base, so it would be log base 10. And I also remember that the logarithm is equal to the exponent, since logarithms are exponents. And then by process of elimination, you know the 15 would go on the inside. And again, we can rewrite this with the common log. So let's just say log 15 is equal to 2z over 3. And from here, we just need to solve for z. So let's change colors. Let's do multiply each side by 3 and then divide each side by 2 to cancel out this 2 here. So we get that 3 halves times log of 15 is equal to z. And at this point, we can just put this into the calculator, though this is actually the solution for the first part. So 3 halves is really just 1.5. We have log 15. Now let's put the rest into the calculator. So we'll clear that. We have 1.5 log 15, since we're using the common log, since this was base 10. And that's about 1.764 if we're going to the thousands place. So we have 1.764. And these are equations, so we can check these. In fact, let's check this using the calculator, since that'll be the faster way to approach these. Let me just make a little bit of room here so we can see the whole problem. And with the calculator, what we're going to do is first store our answer as the variable. And we want to keep it exact, because if you store it as your rounded answer, then technically this is not the exact answer to this. This is very close to the right answer, but we did round it. So what we do have to do is store it as the exact answer. So let's just type in 1.5 log 15. We'll hit our store button. Oops, let's first close that out. And then store as our variable x. Even though we use z here, you can use x on the calculator because that's what you have the variable button for. So now anytime you hit x, the calculator thinks we have this 1.764. And honestly, this is an irrational number, so it's going to go on forever. The calculator just rounds it here. And so at this point, let's just type in our original equation. We have 10 raised to the 2x or 2z over 3. So 2 variable divided by 3. And then we'll get out of our exponent. We'll have to test that it's equal to 15. So you see the blue test button. So hit second. Test. There's your equal sign. And equals 15. So if you get a 1, you know it's correct. If you get a 0, then you know you made a mistake. But again, you have to plug in the exact value because if we just plug in the rounded value, this 1.764, we'll store that as our variable x. And then I'm just going to recall the equation, hit second entry, we do it twice. Now when I hit enter, it gives us a 0 because now we're using the rounded answer. So you have to use the exact expression when you're checking these on the calculator. Now if you really want, you can plug it in by hand and check it that way but the calculator is usually the fastest way to do these. So at this point, let's do one more of these problems with the exercise for base e and base 10 logarithms. And this one has e as a base. Remember, e is that special number that, well, let me write it exactly. e is 2.71828, and it's going to go on forever. It's irrational. It doesn't have a pattern. And E comes up in many different applications. I've made several videos on E if you want to check those out. But you could think of it as relating to the hyperbola as pi relates to the circle. Though, like I mentioned, it does show up in several different applications in many different areas of math. It's an incredibly important number.
So let's rewrite our equation. We have 6 times e to the 0.25t is equal to 9. And we need to solve it for our exponential term here. So let's divide each side of the equation by 6 and then simplify the fraction on the right hand side. So e to the 0.25t is equal to 9 6, which simplifies to 3 halves. And now this is solved for our exponential term, so we can rewrite this as a logarithm. And for this logarithm, the base is e, and it will be equal to whatever the exponent is, so 0.25t, and then the 3 halves will go on the inside of the logarithm. And this is a special logarithm. Any logarithm with base e, we can just rewrite as our natural logarithm. So this will be ln of 3 halves equals 0.25t. And another way to think about e is that it's so important, especially in higher level math, that there is a special logarithm just for that base. In fact, when you look at the calculator, there are two special logarithms. One of them is for e and one of them is for 10. We choose 10 because our whole number system is based off 10, though in reality, that's arbitrary. We could have used a base of 5 or a base of 60 like the Babylonians did, but we use 10. Now, E is a more natural base that's not dependent on any number system. So it's an incredibly important number. It's important enough that it gets its own logarithm. In fact, it's called the natural logarithm. And if you've forgotten that, I'll just write that down very quickly. But at this point, we've solved our equation for the logarithm, and now we just need to finish by getting t by itself. So we'll divide each side by 0.25, or you can remember that this is really just 1 fourth, so we can multiply each side of the equation by 4. So in conclusion, we get 4 times the natural log of 3 halves is equal to t, and that's what we'll put up in our first box, so 4 natural log 3 halves is equal to t, and we'll need the calculator to round it to the thousandths place, so let's get that out. And for this one, let me just clear everything. We have 4 natural log of 3 halves, which is really just 1.5, and we get 1.622 if we're going to round to the thousandths place. So 1 is the thousandths place, but 8 is bigger than 5, so we round up. So we get 1.622. And we can even, even very quickly check this. So let's type in our 4 natural log of 1.5. We'll store that as our variable. And then we'll go back to our original equation. We had 6. Here's an e to the x button, or e to anything button. So 6e to the 0.25 times by our variable. And now we need our equal sign, so we'll test that, second test equals, and 9, and we should get back a 1. And since we got back a 1, now we can feel completely confident that this is, in fact, the right solution here. And like I mentioned, in the next video, we're going to be looking at what happens when the logarithm does not have base e or base 10, and for those, we'll need to use the change of base rule.